So we used a technique called functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI. We took a group of healthy participants, and while they were being scanned, we looked at their brain activity while we played them jokes. And there were two types of jokes. There were those that depended on wordplay, uh, puns if you like, uh, and jokes that didn't depend on wordplay. And this allowed us to really look at the or unpack the subtleties of what makes a joke funny and which areas of the brain are responding to those aspects of the, of the, of the joke. There's two reasons why we used jokes for this study. Jokes elicit a very strong behavioural response. We're all familiar with falling about laughing at a joke. So it seemed to us pretty likely that it would elicit a strong brain response as well, and that's something that was very important for us. The second reason is uh, patients who've had traumatic brain injury have a difficult, very difficult population to work with. I don't think any of us would really want to do anything more unpleasant to them than, than they've had already. So tackling this with a positive emotion, with jokes, seemed like, a, if you like, a more humane way to, to approach the problem. And there were two main results in our study. The first is that uh, a part of the frontal lobe responds specifically to the sorts of wordplay that is involved in puns. In a sense, that's the area that helps you to get the joke. Also, reward areas in the, in the limbic system, deep within the brain, were activated when you found a joke funny, and the funnier you found the joke, the more active those areas became. The first thing we need to do now is to start applying this type of idea in some patients who are perhaps vegetative, or at least are non-responsive and are unable to tell us whether they find a joke funny. We can use that to start to access, uh, or start to establish whether any of these patients do have any residual emotional capabilities, and that's very important for families.